Welcome back guys to the motorized scooter build part 4. This video was made possible by Go Power Sports. Thank you very much Go Power Sports. And be sure to check them out for all your go kart or mini bike needs. They supply me with a really nice thick wheel. So what I went ahead and did is I put my old sprocket from my go kart on that wheel. Since the wheel was bigger I had to readjust my chain move my axle back and I had to play around with my engine but lucky for y'all I did that all off camera but anyways guys let's get straight into the build so here's the chain I think we got it perfect it's been about a month and I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing dang it the switch was off My uh, camera died so I'm using my phone but I managed to tack weld the two nuts it looks pretty good wheel alignment chain alignment's good so I've got my lock collars in place I gotta go get some bolts for my chain tensioner and I need a 5-16 or 5 16 24 I'm about to go to track the supply get me some bolts it's currently raining Let's see, what do we need today? What y'all think, guys? Okay, I think we got that taken care of. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the engine off. Uh, I need to weld those nuts and I think we'll be good to go. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is kind of ready outside. I'm going to wait a little bit before I get to ride this thing. But meanwhile, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fabricate a custom exhaust for this. And I know exactly what I have in mind. And I think it's going to look sick. Here's our donor pipe. I actually stole this off an old tiller that's in our yard. And uh, we'll probably never be using that tiller anymore. So I figured we'll repurpose this handle. Well, guys, that's how the header turned out. I love the way it looks. Really stiff. Now, let me know if I should leave it like this or paint it.
Well guys, so at this point it got dark, so I decided I would wait till the next day and get some more footage of the thing. So there y'all go. I think the chain's just too loose, but I think I we probably make it home. I'll try. So that problem was because there was play in this rear wheel, which the reason why the chain popped off is because this lock collar is loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and readjust it, and we should be good to go. Well guys, I think we can call this project a success. It was really fun to ride, awesome. Now I'm having zero issues with it so far. I can say my work paid off, but it's still not done yet. I have some more things planned. I gotta get me a better brake setup. I gotta change that ugly yellow tire for something else. I gotta tune the carburetor and make some kind of air filter adapter. Now in the other video, I was running a 49.2 sprocket, but now I'm running a 66.2 sprocket. So definitely not as fast. But it has that torque. So I'd say right now it tops about 22 miles per hour. Uh, we probably get it to 25, 30 with some mods. And possibly a sprocket change could do a lot for us. But I'm satisfied with this thing. One last thing I have to say. Uh, tomorrow I'll be live streaming. That's a Saturday the 3rd. Sometime in the afternoon. So guys look out for that. Y'all have any questions for me? Any comments? I encourage y'all to join my live stream. And on top of that, look forward to a new video on Monday or Tuesday. But anyways, guys, I have to see you on the next video. Stay tuned for more. Peace.